Isn't a desire for event a quality that is not worthy of a person of a warrior caste? No, Helga, rather the opposite, I would say. Forgiveness is not worthy of a warrior, especially if we are talking about forgiveness of an inflicted harm and offense. Forgiving means belittling oneself. We have said this many times. Belittling yourself down to the level of the one whom you are forgiving, thereby bringing them up to your level. When a peasant says to the king, I forgive you, this will work only if they both are serfs of one and the same God or brothers in Christ, if you wish. In this case, they are equal, but socially they aren't. Therefore, the king will come to harm as a Christian, but not as a king. Whereas if it is a king saying to the peasant, I forgive you, he reduces the level of the received offense, of the received damage, to the level of a peasant putting them both on the same level. In this sense, pronouncing these words is always sufficient for the words to start working. A warrior doesn't forgive. A warrior takes an eric as payment. This could be a monetary eric, as well as a non-material eric, a compensation. Harm has been caused. Damage has been caused. Let's turn to the Latin etymology of the term damage, damnum, meaning minus, loss. The consciousness has lost something and has become vulnerable in this loss. The consciousness has put itself in a position to be filled up with external energies in order to become whole again. What energies will it be filled with? It may happen as in the situation described by our colleague, where the request has been fulfilled, but then 20 years of hard work followed. And it is possible that the same will happen. The lost piece will be filled, but by whom and at what conditions? This is how it happens, that the area of such loss gets penetrated by mistletoe, and once it penetrates, it will germinate, and when it germinates on the healthy warrior tree, it turns it into a donor, which it then parasitizes. This is how our colleagues, Christianity came to our land, when Vladimir, the red sun, made fade, has let mistletoe get into his consciousness just like that which later turned him into its donor. After all, it is enough that a few high-ranked consciousnesses, elevated to the rank of a prince, receive such vulnerabilities for everyone else to get infected by this mistletoe. This is true. It is the truth. Right now we see the same going on in the world around us, when extremely terrible, grotesque and sometimes even phenomenally absurd ideas penetrate into society. Some two, three prime ministers, four presidents and a chairman are enough for these ideas to start germinating in all of our society and similar to mistletoe start infecting all healthy trees. Although, after having betrayed one's own gods and having accepted foreign ones, we cannot really talk about being healthy at all.